In this video, I will show you how to create an opt-in page on WordPress in three simple steps. If you stay to the end of this video, you will be able to build an opt-in page like this for free with only using default WordPress Gutenberg without using any other add-on plugins or page builder. Hi, it's Andrew here. I provide direct and helpful tutorial just like this to help you to grow your website easiest way possible. By the way, if you are first time here, consider to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out my future video. Step 1. Create a sign up form in your autoresponder. If you do not have any autoresponder or you are just starting out, you may use the link in the description to create a free autoresponder account. For this example, I will be using Aweber because the supports and features are awesome and it is free to use as long as you are still under 500 subscriber with no time limit. So after you click on the link below this video, you will reach at this page and go to pricing and click on free and sign up here. You may watch this video for the step by step on how to create the free Aweber account in details by clicking here. But don't watch that yet before you finish this video to get the whole overview first. After you follow all the on-screen instructions, you should be able to successfully create the free autoresponder account. And this is what the dashboard will be look like. From here, click on sign up form. And after that, click on create a sign up form and select for my website. After you reach here, you may select any built-in template or you can build in from scratch or you can click here to show more. There is plenty of uh, pre-built templates here to select. So for this example, I will be choose a simple sign up form. Maybe I will use this one and select the color theme that you like. For this example, I will choose green, green tool and click on load template. This is what your sign up form will be look like. From here, you can customize anything you want by clicking here and key in anything that you want. Let's say for this example, I will key in, enter your Press email and click on save view and you can just customize whatever you want to change on this sign up form let's say this submit button I would like to change the text to get started now and click on save view you can also change the fonts of the text, the text font and the size of the fonts and the color of the button. But for this example, I will leave it as default. And when you are happy with the design, you can click on go to step 2. From this page, give your sign up form a name so that you can refer later. For this example, I will use my web form 1. And from here, you can use the default thank you page. You may click on the preview button to preview. This is what your subscriber will see after they sign up on this form. You may use the default thank you page or you can set a custom URL for your thank you page. But for this example, I will just use the default thank you page and click on save form and go to step 3 because we want to install to our WordPress website I will choose I will install my form in the JavaScript snippet just copy the code step 2 is to create an opt-in form on your WordPress after you log in to your WordPress dashboard, 
go to page, add new. When you reach here, give your opt-in form a name. For this example, I will just use opt-in page 1 and click on save draft. From here, I will key in the title of this opt-in form. So click on the plus icon here and search for column and choose the layout. For this example, I will use this one column layout and click on the plus here and choose for heading. So I will key in the heading and from here you can customize the text and the color of the heading. To customize the text and the color of this heading, click on the gear icon here and from here you can select the size of the font because this is the heading, I will choose the largest text size and I will also like to change the background color to blue and you can also customize the color of the text. For this example, I will use this color and I will align the text to middle and next, I will search for column. This time, I will choose a two column layout, something like this. The first column, I would like to upload the image of the free report. You can upload the image that you want. For this example, I will use this image. And on the right side, I put in another heading. I'll use this. What you will learn. And hit the enter button. And these are some of the features that your subscriber will get after they opt in to your opt-in form. So to change this to bullet point, you may select all this and click on the icon here to transform it to the list layout. Here I would like to put in our opt-in form which we create in our Aweber account. So head back to your Aweber account to copy your form code. This is the code that we want, JavaScript recommended. Select, copy. And from here, click on the plus icon and search for HTML. Select this custom HTML and paste the code here and publish and click on view page. So this is the page that we have created. So whenever someone enter their name and their email address and click on this button and they will be added to your email list. Step three is to create a thank you page. So whenever someone sign up to your list, you want them to redirect them to a page so that they can download your freebies, whatever freebies reports you are offering. So to create a thank you page, go to page and add another new page. This time I will name this page as thank you page. And click on save. Because for this example, I would like to use the similar design as this opt-in page. So I will just copy the whole thing to the thank you page. To do that, we will select anywhere from here and choose this column link here. So that we select the whole thing. And from here, click on options and copy. And at the new thank you page, right click paste so you will see the design the whole design have been copied over here but at the thank you page we don't need 
this opt-in form so I will just click on the menu here and remove the blocks and I will remove this also I will change this text to click here to download so you can highlight this text and click on the link and paste the URL link for your download files you can also check out this video the step by step how to add your download file in your WordPress website by clicking here or you can create something like a button by clicking this plus icon here and search for button let's say select this button and key in click here download this works the same as text you click on the button here and click on the link icon here and paste your URL address for your download file so that whenever your subscriber click on this button they will download the report you are offering so click on publish so for the final touch up because I'm using this uh, Cadence theme as a example because we want our opt-in page to be in full size and we don't want our title and the, the icon on the top of this bar so to remove this title here and the icon on the top side we will log in back to our dashboard and go to appearance customize this will depends on the themes you are using but for this example for the these themes that I'm using, we can remove here. Click on header and remove the logo. As you can see, we have removed the logo. So for the title here, we will go to page layout and we will remove the toggle button here so that not to show the title and click on publish. So the final thing we need to do is to copy the link for this thank you page to your autoresponder so that whenever a subscriber subscribe, they will redirect to this page. So to get the URL for this thank you page, we will click on edit. And you can see this is the URL address for this thank you page. So we will copy the address and head back to our autoresponder and click on setting and from here thank you page setting we will choose custom URL page and we will paste the URL address here so whenever a subscriber subscribe to your list they will redirect to this thank you page click on save your form and head back to your WordPress site click on view so this is our final opt-in page on our WordPress site. So to test this opt-in page, we will simply type in our name, name1, and an email address. And click on get started now. As you can see, after the sign up, we will redirect to this thank you page. And we can click on this button to download the reports. You can also use the three steps in this video to create an opt-in page on WordPress with any autoresponder you are using. They are all quite similar. Step 1. Create a sign-up form in your autoresponder. Step 2. Create an opt-in page on your WordPress. And step 3. Create a thank you page and update the URL to your autoresponder. Check the link in the description to get your free autoresponder account with no credit card required. And if you think this video is helpful, please consider to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out my future video.